I worked in Hollywood for a short time, behind the scenes, a little bit in front of the scenes. I'm not an expert, but I'm just giving you my opinion based on my personal experiences and knowledge. You guys probably already know this, but with these reality shows, producers typically behind the scenes feed these characters storylines. These storylines have to create drama and chaos because that's what sells. I'm not sure that these sisters realize what they signed up for or if they realize how they will be discarded when these objectives have been met. This show, in my opinion, is a propaganda piece meant to confuse the masses about what it means to be Afghan and what it means to be Muslim. I've been so bothered by the stereotypes about Afghans and Muslims in the media for the past 20 years, and I've been putting a lot of work into changing that stereotype changing the narratives and to constantly see that over the past 20, 30, 40 years we're never getting a true representation of our people. I've sat at very high level meetings in Washington, in um, LA, in New York, even in Kabul, where the talk was about Afghan women's empowerment, but my or my three sisters' voices were absolutely not heard. Why? Because we did not fit the narrative. It was very Orientalism energy. What we quickly learned from these very powerful entities is that they profit from the perpetuation of stereotypes. They sell ad space. They sell tickets. They sell books. They win very big contracts and they make airtime for talking heads, war, conflict, sex, alcohol. They make money. A lot of money for some. Divide and conquer can be waged in many ways, not just the battlefield. Very low, dark energies hide themselves behind what we know as entertainment. Today's entertainment, specifically reality shows, are pitting women against women, sisters against sisters, friends against friends, family members against family members. Those real stories of people on a positive path, on a high level of vibration, who are out there doing good, making positive changes for humanity. Whether they're Afghan or Muslim doesn't matter, just in general, we rarely see that. And as a result, you can see around the world, society, we're going down energetically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Always remember, good in entertainment rarely sells. And that's why it's important we craft our own media, we tell our own stories, we tell our own narratives. Not these cartoon versions that make Hollywood and executive media producers millions of dollars while we sit back and struggle with self-identity issues and having our voices heard.